Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sheetal. Today I am going to cover about sickle cell anemia. इस वीडियो को मैंने थोड़ा सा अलग तरीके से बनाने की कोशिश की है for the better understanding of the concept. Please अपने views जो हैं वो share कीजिए comment box में. Let us understand the topic that is sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is one type of hemoglobinopathy. Here what happened is rather than formation of HbA, there is a formation of HbS. It is inherited condition, ये inherited condition है. Okay, here what happened is in beta polypeptide chain, in beta polypeptide chain at sixth position, at sixth position, one glutamic acid, one glutamic acid is replaced by valine. So, rather than formation of HbA, there will be formation of HbS. See the image. This is how normal RBCs look like and this is Sickle shaped RBC. See the shape. It is sickle shaped. Like this. Now let us understand the pathophysiology. How it is uh, causing various kind of features. See here what happened is HBS. RBCs containing HBS. When it exposed to lower oxygen tension at that time there will be precipitation of the hemoglobin so what will happen there will be formation of long crystals there will be formation of long crystals which will elongate and it will cause sickling sickling of red blood cells okay so precipitation of hemoglobin S causes formation of crystals which causes sickling of RBCs. Now these RBCs will cause, it will have two kind of effects you can say. One is it will increase viscosity. It will increase viscosity of blood first thing. Second, these RBCs are prone to get lysed. So, there will be more hemolysis. Okay, that's why the name given. Sickle cell anemia. Right? Anemia which occurs because of sickle shaped RBCs or sickling of RBCs which make them prone to get lysed. That's why RBC count reduces, total RBC count reduces and anemia occurs calculation sickle shaped RBCs will be there. So they will get easily plugged in smaller capillaries and it will cause ischemia or damage to the tissue. See the image. See this sickle shaped RBCs. Okay it will block the flow to the tissue which will cause varieties of features like growth impairment, splenomegaly, understand the word carefully, splenomegaly, megaly stands for enlargement, enlargement of spleen. Why there is enlargement of spleen? Because of sickle shaped RBCs, uh, spleen is a site where RBCs will be trapped from the circulation. So abnormal RBCs will be trapped uh, from the circulation by spleen. So more and more function of the spleen will be there causes of splenomegaly. Then there will be autosplenectomy. See the word splenectomy stands for removal of spleen. Auto stands for self. Right? So splenomegaly is initial feature of a sickle cell anemia. Gradually as there is a uh, obstruction to the blood flow to the tissue, what will happen? There will be spleen infarction which will cause autosplenectomy. There will be blockage of the chest blood vessels also, which causes pleuritic chest pain. 
blockage of the cerebral blood vessels will cause stroke so these are important clinical features related to sickle cell anemia so this is all about pathophysiology of sickle cell anemia thank you so much